Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem. Find a standard form equation for the plane passing through the three points P, Q, and R. So we have P, Q, and R right here. There are three points in the R3. And so we're asked to find the equation for the plane. An equation for the plane. So first let's remind ourselves what an equation for a plane looks like. It has basically the variable A minus, or sorry, multiply, X minus X zero, add B. And I'll explain what these are momentarily. So it's y minus then y0 plus, and lastly we have c, and z minus z0. That might be going off screen a bit. Let's hope not. So in this particular plane of equations, the a, the b, and the c, those two, th all those three things there being multiplied, those are the components for a vector, so a vector a, b, c, that is normal or orthogonal or at like a, at a right angle to Two, two other vectors. So it would be a vector. If these two are vectors right here, let's pretend these are vectors. One's going that way, one's going this way. This this vector ABC would be something over here. So all you need to know is that that is a normal vector. And the X0, the Y0, and the Z0 right there, those are just components of any of these points right here you can choose from. So we can just plot any of those inside. So the entire purpose of a question like this is just to find basically the normal vector. And you do that first by actually having some vectors to play around with. All we have here are three points, so we need to find some vectors. So the first one we're going to find is P to Q, and I have a video on that in case you forgot. So to do this, we do Q minus P, so negative 2 minus that is negative 4. 4 minus 0 is still just positive 4. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So that's P to Q. Now let's find the vector, sorry, P, I keep bringing R's, P to R right there. So let's find that. So it's going to be r subtract p. So 1 subtract 2 is just a negative 1. We have negative 2 subtract 0, negative 2, and 3 subtract 3 is 0. So now that we have two vectors here, we want to find a normal vector so that we can plot it inside our plane equation that we were talking about here. And that normal vector we find is going to be the a, b, and c here. The a, b, and c. So let's find that normal vector. To do this, we just take the cross product between this vector here, the PQ, and the other vector, the P to R. And I have a video on cross product in case you forgot about that. So I'm going to move through this a bit fast and assume you know. So 4 times 0 is nothing. Subtract negative 2, multiply negative 2, that's positive, but overall negative because you're subtracting. So the first part is negative 4. Next part is going to be negative 4, multiply 0, that's nothing. Subtract, this is going to be positive 2, so negative 2. And lastly, we're going to have positive 8, subtract a positive 4, so we're adding it. So negative, eight, or sorry, positive 8. So we would have a 12 right here, and this would be the normal vector. The normal vector, also known as the orthogonal vector. The, nor the vector that's at a right angle. So knowing that, let's go ahead and plot that in. So we have 0 equals, and here's our normal vector, so it's going to be negative 4 for the a value. Then we have x. Now let's plot in a value for x0. That can be any of these points here we choose from. So let's choose uh, let's choose this point right here, point P. So in this case, X0 is going to be referring to the 2 right there. So let's put that in. So at minus 2 plus, then we have B according to this formula. That would be the middle one here. It's a negative 2. So instead of putting a plus sign there, let's put a negative sign because it's a negative 2. So it's negative 2 Y minus Y0. If we're using this point, that's going to be a 0. Uh, then plus C. C is going to be 12. And I think we're getting a hang of it by now. It's then we have z minus z zero. Z zero would be the three uh, component of three right there. So minus three, and this is the plane equation, but it's not the standard form equation, which is what they're asking for right here. So to find a standard form, we just multiply this throughout. So now notice we can simplify this equation a bit further before we multiply it through. Uh, so before we do that, let's we can divide everything by negative two. If we divided everything by negative 2, we get a positive 2 here, 2 positive 2x two minus 2, and divided by negative 2, we're going to get positive y, and y minus 0 is nothing, so just put the y there. Divide 12 by negative 2, you're going to get negative 6z minus 3, and let's put the equal sign to the right over here now, just for simplicity's sake. Now let's multiply it through, because it wants the the equation not in just plane form but in standard form for the, the actual equation of the plane. 
So let's multiply through. We get 2x minus 4 plus y minus 6z, then positive 18. So let's put all of our constants to the right-hand side. We would get, well, first off, 18 minus 4 is 14. Put it to the other side, you get negative 14. So negative 14 over here. Over here on the left-hand side, we have 2x plus y minus 6z. And this would be the equation for the plane. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And I thank you for watching.